I'm Shelly Turner with the Builderall team. In this video, we're going to get our thank you page ready and we're going to make sure that we have our contact form connected to the thank you page so that we can collect leads from our website. So let's go ahead and edit the thank you page. We're going to make it very, very simple. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually go into this page and save some of my settings so I can bring them over to this page really, really quickly. So I'm going to click edit page and go into this page to edit. And what I want to do is actually, I want to copy a couple of these panels so that I can bring them over to the other page really, really quickly. So in this panel, I want the, I want the header. So I'm going to click on the header and I'm going to go down here to save element. And I'm going to say panel one and I'm going to click save as personal element. So now that panel saved. And then I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to call it panel two and save as personal element. And then I'm going to go all the way down. I want the footer as well. So I'm going to click on this panel and I'm going to call it panel three and save as personal element. So now I've added three panels that I want to add to my thank you page. So now I can go into my thank you page and start editing. So I'm going to switch over and open up the editor for my thank you page. So I'm back in my website overview and here's my thank you page. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit and my thank you page doesn't have anything in it, but I can go to the personal area and go to panels and then click panel. And there's my three panels that I just saved as personal items. So I'm going to add the first one add the second one and add the third one. And now I've got all three of those panels that I wanted to add. And I want to go ahead and change the wording a little bit. I do not need this button, so I can go ahead and delete that and say that's fine. And then I'm going to say something here like, thank you for subscribing. And then here, I'm going to leave them a message. All right, so then I added, watch your email for special coupons and offers from us. So it's just a really quick really easy thank you page and once I've created that I want to click save and then that's fine to go ahead and publish it because I want to make it public and now I'm going to be able to set up that newsletter subscription form so I can take it off of this page I don't need it on this page anymore so I'm going to take it off there we go but and then I'm going to click save to make sure that that change is saved and now I'm going to go back to my home page so let me flip over to the home page. And the first thing I'm going to do is take off the border of this box that I didn't take off before. So we'll click here and we'll click on the box and make sure that we take off that border so it's no longer there. And now I'm going to edit this contact form. So I'm going to click on it and then click the config fields. And we've already configured these fields here, but I need to add an email receiver. So who is the email? that's going to receive this information when somebody fills out this form. What email is going to get this information? So I set it at Shelly at BuilderAll.com or Shelly at BuilderAllDiva.com. And then for the subject, you need something to remind you of who this lead is. <laughs> so I put ice cream shop lead. So that reminds me that when I get this email, it's information about somebody that filled out this form on my website. And then the redirect URL, you need the exact URL of the thank you page. So let's go ahead and get that exact URL. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my website overview panel. And right here's the thank you page. And I'm just going to click the down arrow. And I'm going to click go to web page. And that's going to take me to this page. But then I need to get the address. So I need to look up in the URL bar that's up at the top of the page and copy the URL of this page. And then I come back to my contact form and I paste it in there. And now it's ready to go. All I need to do is click save. And as soon as someone fills out this form and they hit register now, what's gonna happen is the information is gonna be sent to me in my email to tell me that I have a new subscriber and they're going to be sent to that thank you page to tell them thank you for subscribing. So that's how you set up the contact form inside of Cheetah. Now I need to make sure that I click save because save is my friend. And then I click that's fine. 
And now once I've checked every single button, every single menu item to make sure it's working, then this page is actually done and ready to go. I've got my thank you page ready to go and my website's been built. And remember, we built it three different ways in this training. We can build it by just grabbing the template that's available in Cheetah and built already. We can build it by grabbing the pre-made panels and building that way. Or we can choose to build it from scratch using blank panels and adding our own images and our own elements. So that's how you build a super fast website. And you can also build the website super fast using a template or super fast using the pre-made panels. Or you can take your time and really customize it by pulling in blank panels and using your own images and your own elements. I hope you've had a lot of fun during this training and I'll see you all around the internet and don't forget to build something amazing with BuilderAll.